from day one, they definitely tested and tried me. You know, right. I, I don't know what it was. I guess, you know, they must have found out my contract that I got paid more than all of them. And they were just pissed. I ain't going to lie. And it's not my fault that you guys don't have proper representation or the shit don't rock with you, but don't get mad at me. So one of the girls on the show, she was acting real sedidity and whatnot, really tried me on on one of the scenes and pushed me, put her hands on me. I was like, oh, it was it was on. You know, the network said, we'll give you, a, we give you this if you get into this situation. Like I said, you got to pay me to fight. Precisely. So they paid me to fight. Sure enough said, sure not done. You'll see that black eye on that next clip. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So the way you started, you wasn't even supposed to be on the show. No, no. I, w I was going on the show just to introduce, kind of lead up to my next show, you know, and they felt like I would be a good asset. You know, I originally was going to talk about how, you know, I evolved from one show to the next and... um it just, without saying too much, I don't want to give away too, too much of the show, but I had to end up making t-shirts with this girl's face on it. This is streaming right now. It's not out yet. It's not That's out yet. That's why I didn't want, I can't Real say Real Side Chicks of LA. Yeah, it's on the Forest Bias Network. That's got to speak volumes because you really look at it and you're like, Side Chicks of LA, like, hold on, these are a bunch of side chicks on here? <laughs> well... You got to think about your, um, you know, your image here as nah. well, you know, because the, the title's going to say it all. Let me tell you something. It's just a title, baby. Jones. It's just a title. Basketball wives, hey. they weren't all married. Housewives, they weren't all. Hey, it's but just guess a title. What? It's I catchy. promise you this, hey, because I do, I do media content and the comments get crazy. That's mm -hmm. not what they're going to think. Of course not. You're not going to have, let me tell you something, you're not going to have one person in the comment section on that when all that shit drops or when the blogs are picking it up saying that not all of them are side chicks on there. Of course. That's not going to be the narrative of that's course. But that's the point. We want you to come and see what, what it's all about. We want we want that. See, negative... Gotta kill the show. No, no it don't. No, it don't. I mean, there are some side chicks on that show now. No, there is, but they're going to look at it like, aren't all of these chicks side chicks? Like, that's... They're going to start calling out. They're going to start saying, well, I don't even like that chick because that chick ain't even... Like, she's not even supposed to but be But they here. did that with Basketball Wives. They didn't know. And the people that were they in the did, comments did, still treated it as mm -mm. such. No, because I, mean, I, I, I did my research and I was like, hold up, she's not married. Hold it, she's not married. People do. I'm telling you, people like instant gratification. <laughs> Not everybody likes to go do the homework. They take it for face value. Mm -hmm. You have to think about it. I've done many interviews, okay? And I'll keep it brief. I've done many interviews to where people will go off of the clip and what it's titled as mm -hmm. to make their ultimate opinion about what they think's going on versus watching the entire thing or hearing my side to it. It's, it's like not, a trailer. It's not going to, yeah, it's not going to matter. Mm -hmm. I'm just telling you from experience. Mm -hmm. It's not going to fucking matter. When you kind of hop under that brand and you hop under, it says side chicks of L.A., that speaks volumes. So when you heard that name, did it make you want to say, what the heck is the show about? I got to go see it? No, because I already know what a side chick does. No, you you wouldn't want to see it. My personal, like, I'm just saying, like, Did, did I'm you want to see the show? Did you want us to be like, I'm going to check and see what this is about? For you? Because I know you. Okay. I'm being dead ass honest okay. with you. It's because I fuck with you and your personality and how you get, okay, I want to see how she acts on camera. Well, I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's my personal opinion of why I want to go. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or what I, why I want to see Most it. people, though, when they see that name, they're like, what the heck? What is this show about? I've seen many bitches act ratchet, side bitches act ratchet. There's so many shows out that are like that. Hell, I've done Blue Girls Club twice. <laughs> clusterfuck of evilness all of them. <laughs> like I don't even know if you know did millions you know what I'm saying so it's like uh, fucking it, trust me it's everywhere it's not yeah. and I'm sure three out of because I did probably like 12 of them chicks I'm sure five out of the fucking 12 were side chicks to somebody of if course. not if not majority of mm -hmm. them you know what I'm saying that's mm -hmm. how it always starts and I get it Get in the door however you can get in. Mm -hmm. I mean, I understand that. Listen, I, if I, I did one more chance, sweetheart. So Imagery, uh, and that's cool, and respected. But, show, show but is a show at the end of the day. Image is everything, and I'm, I'm, just, I'm just telling you, fellow to fellow, of, you know, being in this, in, you know, entertainment, just content, mm -hmm. period. What you put out and what you put behind your name is going to be everything to mm -hmm. your future. You're right. I promise you this. 
if I'm if I'm lying, I'm dying. I think anybody that's in this shit that has to go through the modes and the ups and downs, like I go, you have to think, man. There's thousands of comments about me everywhere mm -hmm. at all times, constantly going. Mm -hmm. So it, it it can fuck with you, man. It's not you don't just get to collect two hundred and go. It ain't Monopoly. Right, right. Well, that's different if you didn't have a brand prior to being on that show. So at it's the not end about of the, a brand, it it's imagery. About, you have it to is. think about it. It's some people that might want to fuck with your brand are scared to fuck with it because of the image that you've already portrayed. I'm telling you mm -hmm. the truth. Mm -hmm. From sponsorships, endorsements, all of that shit. Mm -hmm. They're gonna go back and they're gonna look, hold on. We wanna go give, we wanna give Cherise this. We want to sign her to a $15 million contract for three years. Man, I like this girl. And then they go to the CEO or go to somebody and they put, ain't that the girl that was on the side? Nah. It's the imagery. And it can fuck up your brand in the when, long run. When These you are see conversations. The show, when you see the show, you'll I'm see it's it just the name. But, uh, but I'm looking at it in general. These are conversations mm -hmm. that are being had that can, that can be had mm -hmm. without you. Well, that's you could say the same thing with love and hip hop. Love and hip hop is ratchet. It's it's crazy too. At the end of the day, what was most of those people really in hip hop? No, were they in love? Not really. No, it's just a name. So, truth be told, I understand you where you're coming from as far as a, a name can. It's everything. Take it's your you. name. Everything. Of course, but that ain't, ain't my name. The show name ain't my name. But when you're under it, it still falls on you. You have to think about it. It's like, oh man, I hate having to even bring this up, but it's the truth. It's like this, even with No Jumper and some of the things that it took place. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though I didn't have a lot to do with anything, guess what? Still falls on my back. Why, Hurley? Because I'm here. <laughs> so I have to deal with that. There's mm -hmm. no getting away from that, bro. Like, it's... I'm just telling you from my experience. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no getting away from it, sweetie. And you can have a grand slam of a motherfucking uh, yeah. time. Yeah, you know how you can get away from it? You, you you utilize that show, and then when you build up, you get another show that actually shows who you are and whatnot, and your lifestyle show, and that's exactly what I'm doing. That's what the plan is. I already have it green lit from the network to where it's just a stepping stone. And it's not, this is not, I'm not doing season two. You know, I'm not, this is this is just to say, introduce you to what I got going on in my life and what, what I'm what I'm capable what of. What if it takes more than one season to get you to where you're going? Because I've done other things prior already. But I'm saying, where you're trying to head, mm -hmm. what if you stopping mm -hmm. and you not going on another two or you know, three? What if it takes season three for you to really break out the fucking box? If it does, but it only, does. But you're saying you're only doing one and you're done. I already, I already have it in the works. It's already filming. You said you're already, no, I'm saying you're like, it's one and done. We haven't even got to drop the first season to even see if it's going to be popping for you to even want to go back a second or third. Mm -hmm. Your ass might need to go back that second or third. Mm -hmm. we'll might see. be a bigger bag. We'll might see. be a lot of bigger opportunities. Or it might be like, well, fuck, you kind of need to go redeem yourself in, in season two. They were mm -hmm. fucking with you in season one, but now you need to go up in there and you're going to really need to turn the lights I'm gonna on I'm going to have to do bitch. a charm school on them bitches. That's just what I may have to do. And if I do, I still will be known for who I am. And that's what you, you'll you see when you watch the show. I'll watch the episode. Is there a lot of ratchet shit going on? Some. I need, then I like it. I want to watch it. <laughs> I'm just saying. Do you see, you see what I'm saying, y'all? I'm, okay. I'm just saying, like, I already know what to listen, but it doesn't excite me to be like, ooh, there's like a bunch of mystery. Uh -huh. Ooh, what's going on? I've seen ratchet bitches act the fuck up in our office. We get it firsthand. I'm taking pictures with chicks. As soon as we take a picture, right behind us, chick takes off on her. Bing, bing, bing. What? Right there. That's crazy. Right at, well, we're taking fucking pictures, man. This man's trying to do his job. It's like a fucking cesspool. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> like, yeah. it happens. Like, and these were all reality. Like, you know what I'm saying? This shit is for real. Like, mm -hmm. but motherfuckers is really taking off on each other. Yeah. Like, they're really and, doing and shit. That's, that's the crazy thing when reality really becomes, these shows become reality because people don't really know how to act and just leave it at the table. All right, so you see it. We just hit 500K. You know what that means? That means you gotta subscribe and get us to 600K because we are dangerously close to 666K. Let's go.